Okay, we have the uh, microchip pick 18F2550 connected to the uh, Max 7219 display driver. In this case, um, and it's a small little calculator display, instead of an 8x8 LED matrix, of course, I'm using the decode function in the 7219. Note that one of the things to use the decode function is it has to operate in binary coded decimal. And in this case, I set it up to work with four digits. Not much more to say, except it's hard to get portable routines that will work across platforms. I went around and looked at several so-called suggestions for using microchip PIC C to, co to convert from integer to uh, BCD and every one of them was just a pain in the neck and didn't really work correctly when you tried to shift them right and or them or whatever and try to send the converted integer to the uh, display. It just wouldn't work. It produced garbage or the count was off or whatever but this here is rock solid it just uses uh, a mod function and a divide by 10. And this was programmed here to count all the way to 9,999 and start all over. So that's, uh, let's move on, see what else we can do. Thanks for looking at the video. Okay, let's just take a quick look at the software side of this. Um, first over here is we have our ser par uh, parallel to serial shift routine. All you're going to do here is you send a character or value to this subroutine and it shifts it out from least uh, most significant bit first um, into the serial shift registers of the Max 7219. It's nothing but a for loop that will go from 0 to 7 before it jumps out. Uh, basically it's using an AND and a shift left once. Okay, now comes the uh, other part of it. Is the uh, right Max 7219 subroutine. Um, what this is looking for is, okay, this up here, all this does is output an individual byte. This is what puts out your address, the Mac, right Mac 7219. This is going to put out your address first, as we mentioned before, then the data. So it's going to send the address to SSR out. Then it's going to send the data to SSR out. Then it's going to pulse CS. If we move a little further down the screen, there's CS, and it does nothing, but it takes it high delays for a millisecond, then takes it low, clocks it right in. Okay, as you saw earlier, we were counting um, in regular numbers. But you have to convert the code, if you're going to use the decoders in the uh, 7219, you have to use binary coded decimal. Well, let me tell you something trying to find a working routine in C that I can move between Arduino and a microchip PIC uh, was an utter nightmare. Most of them didn't even work with a microchip PIC. The answer really is fairly obvious. Okay, and what you, you saw the count earlier, here is the uh, routine for the count. It's just in a, um, another for loop um, count um, I less than count I plus plus. Okay, what I'm going to do, how you the easiest way to convert from uh, integer to BCD is the following. I'm going to transfer um, J uh, whatever I's value is to J. And it's a series of ever how many times you got to do it is I'm going to do a mod function with 10. What that's going to do, say I have 17, that's going to give me a remainder of 7. 
Okay, well, 7, if I uh, write it right to the max, um, if you see right here, uh, that's going to be the uh, first, di um, it's going to give me the value digit, so I'm going to send the BCD code to the first uh, display, and I'm going to continue doing this. Then I'm going to divide by 10, use another mod, and keep doing that all the way through four digits until I write all four digits to the um, max 7219 and that calculator display that you saw earlier. Uh, it is possible, I suppose, to take this, take the individual numbers, pack them in with shifts, and uh, pack it into a long int, but it really is going to be C BCD if you want to keep it in a couple of bytes. Or you can store it in the array, however you want to do it. But this is the easy way to convert from an integer to binary coded decimal. And it works because you saw it work. Anything else to see on here? I'll talk about the initialization of the chip. This subroutine is called init initiate max 7219. First of all, before I do anything, I'm going to take the CS not pin low and leave it there. Okay, first thing, I have to cut the display on and off. That's set for normal operation. I'm going to take it dress 0C SSR out. And then for the second byte, I'm going to have to choose 00 to turn it off or 01 to turn it on. So I'm going to SSR out 01 and then when I use the pulse CS routine the display gets cut on. Okay, address number 9 I'm going to send out next. I got a choice between 00 for no decode and FF for 4 bit decode 8 digits. That is your standard BCD code. In this case, I chose FF, Pulse CS. Now I'm set up to do a binary coded decimal decoding. Next, we're going to set intensity. That's going to be at address 0A. Um, I'm going to uh, choose 0D. It runs from, I think, uh, 1 to 15 or something like that. Uh, the higher the number, the more intensity it is. Um, in this case, uh, in this case, I chose uh, D, which makes it fairly bright. That's not five thirty seconds. That would have been something more like four. Pulse to CS. That's simple. I set up the intensity. Now I get to choose the scan limit. I can choose from. Uh, um, the number I got to use is 0 to 7 and that will give me from 1 to 8 digits. In the case of what you saw earlier I used 4 digits so I um, send out an address of 0B then I sent out um, 3 which will give me 4 digits pulse CS and there I go. And that's all there is. I mean you, you could look at those Arduino libraries, they won't tell you this. But if you go to the spec sheet and do a little bit of work, uh, we should be able to figure it out. And so I hope this was of interest and some help. Thanks for watching. What we are looking at here is your basic block diagram to your max. 7219 display L display controller. Uh, it can be programmed to do a 8x8 LED matrix or it can display um, number number data like on a calculator display, both of which I've done. And it's all done largely in software. Now I have seen some of the examples for Arduino and they give you this library for it and frankly I don't know what they're doing so I went back to the spec sheet and wrote my own code which I feel is is more clear on how to set these up than the mysterious 
atmail code that people stick up there. Um, all of us are not atmail programmers. I'm, I'm very good at C, but when it comes to, but I'm not going to sit here and st study atmail machine language just to figure out how to hook up a piece of hardware. So that's all I'm going to say on that. But the way this works, uh, it's fairly simple. We have three connections besides, besides five volts and ground. We have the low, or they load, they call it CS not. We have the data bit in, and we have clock. Um, this is as far as the data bit, as far as clocking in the data with the clock and the DN, it's identical to the code that I used on the 74164 shift register. Identical. The only difference is, is you have 16 bits. Uh, the first byte you will clock in is going to be an address. That's going to be from, uh, and it's going to be from D8 through D15. It only uses the uh, first four bits of the first byte. That's D8 through D11. D12 through 15 are unused. If you are going to, you can attach the D out to the D in of another module and tie the clocks together and say you wanted to clock in um, something to do two of these, you would clock in four bytes and they'll go right on in. Um, so the first that bit that byte you want to clock in is your address. It's a four bit address. Um, 1 through 15, I think. 0 is not used. The second um, byte is going to be your actual data. Now, if you have, if you look at here, we have an address decoder. You can clock in a command where it will do binary coded decimal decoding, and you can connect it right to seven segment displays. Um, without additional decoding, or you can turn the decode off and connect up either um, an 8x8 eight eight matrix or LED displays, seven segment type, um, and you'll have to figure out the coding for yourself. When you clock in your two bytes, again, first being addressed, second being the data byte, you will then take CS low which has been sitting programmed low all along you're going to take it high and then you're going to take it low and it clocks the address and data into the rest of the system um, by choosing the appropriate address register you can turn off or cut on the whole system you can choose your mode which is going to be decode the uh, data or not decode, you can control the intensity. You control what is called scan limit. I can choose how many from 1 to 8, no, excuse me, 0 to 7 to choose 1 through 8 digits. So I could use one digit, I could use all 8 digits, or 4, or whatever. Uh, the other one is display test register. I've never fooled with it, I never saw any use in it. One of the things that it does do, it has built-in, it has an intensity pulse width modulator. That means it's not using a bunch of segment resistors that it's controlling the uh, uh, display intensity using pulse width modulation. So that gets us out of a slew of little resistors. There's already also an R set that sets the current broadly. You can use that, but I generally choose to use um, the intensity register. It can be dim all the way to super bright. So put it from uh, something like 1 to 16, something like that. So you can read that in the spec sheet. I point that out in the program.